Do I smoke weed? Do I have weed? I don't Hey guys! Welcome, welcome, welcome to Keeping It Unique. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Malika. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I will be talking about some of the misconceptions or some of the most frequently asked questions I get as a Jamaican living in America. Um, but before we get into that video, I just want to remind you guys to like this video, comment under this video, share this video with your friends and families, tell them about keeping it unique. You guys subscribe and turn that post notification bell if you guys have not already done so. Please help me to grow this channel. Um, my goal for this year is to reach at least a thousand subscribers. It kind of seems far-fetched knowing where I'm at right now but anything is possible and I did promise myself I'm gonna be more consistent this year so we'll see where that takes us um, but yes that's one of my goals for this channel for this year I'm also thinking of um, doing two segments but um, as things progresses I'll let you guys know if um, I'm gonna be doing two different segments to this um, channel or if it's just gonna be the same thing um, so one of the most frequent, I don't mind my Christmas tree in the back, I know it's now January, it's time for it to come down, but you guys need to mind your own business, okay? Um, but back to where I was. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is if I'm from Kingston. Guys, Kingston is not the only part of Jamaica, okay? I am not from Kingston. No, I'm not from Kingston, Jamaica. I don't even sound like I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. Kingstonians sound totally different from people, um, from the people where I'm from. Um, normally when people ask me where I'm from, I tell them Montego Bay. And that's only because that's the closest major city to where I'm from. I'm actually from a small town in rural Jamaica called Cambridge. It's like a small dot on the map. A lot of you guys wouldn't know that. So I just tell you guys Montego Bay, which is the nearest city to where I live. So I so avoid confusion with you guys. One of the second most ask questions is do i smoke weed do i have weed i don't know why you guys think that because you are jamaicans like one of the requirements is for you to smoke but no guys i don't smoke weed i don't know where to sell weed i don't have weed so please don't come to me asking me nothing about weed okay i don't know nothing about no weed i don't smoke no weed so that's that if you guys hear the noise in the background i'm doing laundry right now so that's just my washer going off right there so you guys try to ignore it one other thing that people will come up to me and say a lot of the time they're like you don't sound like you're from jamaica i don't know how i'm supposed to sound to jamaicans i have an accent and here in america i do have an accent I love that here in America I still have my Jamaican accent but a lot of people cannot pinpoint it to Jamaica in particular I'm not sure why well actually when I do ask them why they don't um, why they don't think I'm from Jamaica they'll tell me it's because I don't sound vulgar or aggressive and I'm just like you don't expect me to just walk around sounding I don't know like however you guys think that Jamaican should sound but I do talk fast, so I don't sound aggressive either. I do, of course, they can then um, then tell that I'm from Jamaica, but I don't sound aggressive. If I'm upset, then definitely you're gonna know that I'm from Jamaica because I don't know, I just have like a more, I don't know, stronger, I don't know. I'm more passionate with my patwa when I'm upset, so you definitely is gonna know that I am Jamaican. Another thing that people ask me is like, are the houses out there if we have huts it's kind of crazy i did not know that this misconception was like still a thing and even though i don't get this asked a lot i think i got asked this question one time and i'm just like 
first of all our houses in jamaica are better than the houses here so to your question as do we live in huts out there no we live in huts when we have like a farm and then the farm is like a distance from the house so we build up a hut on the farm so we can shelter from the rain and stuff but we still have our decent houses so no most of jamaicans are not out there living in huts or coconut trees or under i don't know coconut trees whatever your misconception is no we do have decent houses a lot of them are more decent than the houses that they do have here no disrespect it's just the truth another big misconception that people have about jamaicans is that we're only dark-skinned um majority of jamaicans are dark skinned but our motto is out of many one people and we are a mixed race so we do have chinese who are jamaican or people from asian descent we have white people who are jamaicans um and we do have um black majority of jamaicans are black but we still have those indians chinese and all that mixed in where their true nationality is jamaica um jamaican they were born there they were raised there they are jamaican i actually had two um jamaicans in my class um by looking at them you wouldn't tell they were jamaicans they were like they would have looked like they came like straight from china so um, I actually met them here in the US while I was um, going to school um, at the university. So that was interesting and I kind of like that because then it helps to show other people that no, not all Jamaicans are dark skinned or however you may think. One of the biggest ones I get is if I know how to dance. Like guys, I don't know. I feel like they should just revoke my Jamaican card when it comes to that because I was born with two left feet, like no part of me knows how to dance or to whine in like the slightest. I was not gifted with that aspect of me being a Jamaican, but I guess it's okay because God was just like, I can't just give her all the blessings. So I guess that's something I have to work on. That's something I have to acquire over time. It's not a natural talent of mine. So no, I do not know how to dance. And as I am saying this, there's another big one that comes to mind how is it that you're Jamaican and you can't swim because I can't okay yes Jamaica is surrounded by water we have beaches everywhere and I think this is a big downfall of mine I need to learn how to swim but no I cannot swim so don't take me to the beach and expect me to go in the water like some fish going off or whatever first of all I'm not gonna go out in the water if it's too deep if it passed like my waist you guys won't see me go farther i am a big baby when it comes to that i actually had a near death situation at the beach i'm gonna share that story time with you guys um soon so i've always loved the water i've always loved like going out there even though i can't swim because the water the beach is just some place that i enjoy but um since that near drowning situation that i've had i've been more like skeptic of the beach of course i still go to the beach but i've been more skeptic of like going there and then um i knew of this girl i um, mayor so rest in peace she died last year um at the beach and that kind of just touched home for me because when that was happening to me like the only thing i could think about was that my family and then my aunt thinking that she took me here and i just came here and like lost my life like that so that's something i'm like very skeptic about i need to learn how to swim i know like i know i need to learn how to swim but i just have to like conquer that fear first of like I don't know we'll get there when we get there so i think i'm gonna wrap this video up right here guys those are some of the most or some of the major misconceptions that you guys have about me as a jamaican or have about jamaicans on a whole yes majority of jamaicans know how to dance i would say wine um i really don't think majority of jamaicans know how to swim and to be honest it's a very small population of Jamaicans that smoke weed. So you won't just go out there and see people on the streets just smoking weed left, right, and center. Well, you may see because, like, I feel like the people who hang out on the streets out there are the ones that smoke and stuff. So 
but majority of Jamaicans do not smoke. So those were just some of the misconceptions or assumptions that I just came on here to address to um, some of you guys who may see me know that I'm a Jamaican and automatically think, oh, this girl's a dancer, or she's a swimmer, or she's one of you, she smoke weed, you know, I don't do any of the above. Um, I would definitely like to learn how to dance and I would definitely like to learn how to swim the smoking weed part i don't know about that <laughs> but yes um so that's my little video for today i'm actually gonna go sleep now i work later tonight so i decided to do a video for you guys before i go to bed i'm gonna go ahead and edit and then go to bed so i want to thank you guys so so much for watching once again it's your girl malika reminding you guys to always keep it unique bye guys